everyone welcome back to the lookout we're doing a quick update on the mountain fire which is burning near santa paula california got some intel right now that's the re most recent stuff we have is from 10 30 a.m today the uh, seventh and so we're going to kind of review that and then just interpret where the fire is still active and talk about what we think might happen if you're joining us for the first time this is the lookout channel uh, we use open source fire information and intelligence to, along with uh, my 30 years of experience in California wildfire, to talk about wildfires and um, our goals to increase wildfire literacy of people living in fire prone places. So this map is um, on CAL FIRE's website. If you Google CAL FIRE incident map, um, you'll be able to find this. It shows basically the mapping from infrared overflights that have taken place since the fire started. Um, the first line here is where the fire was yesterday at about 2 p.m. The next set of lines is out at 6 p.m. last night. And then the final largest lines are from 10.30 this morning. So what you can see on these is that the fire um, in Camarillo Heights really has not spread um, since yesterday at 2 there's been you know, really minor growth in a few of these kind of avocado orchards and kind of gullies. Um, on the southern edge of, um, or on the, on the edge of Metropolis here. And that the fire was pretty much um, flanking when it got to the densest kind of urban population that mainly burned in areas with scattered larger homes. So you can see here though, that there really has been very little spread um, or new homes burned in the last like um, almost 24 hours on this fire. The fire made its big run, you know, by two yesterday when we first got the first really good mapping. There's still a little bit of heat. Um, you know, it spread a little bit down, backing down to the north here towards 118 um, between 6 p.m. last night and this morning, but really minor spread elsewhere on this southern part of the fire. The northern edge of the fire, uh, the northern part of the fire, so basically the fire started up here and appears to have spotted a mile and then spotted again with the peak wind gusts uh, yesterday morning. So a lot of this area, as we discussed last night, has burned in um, a recent fire last year. And then this northern side burned in the uh, Maria fire 2019. So as we kind of expected, you know, the focus has really been on urban firefighting down here. This fire kind of ran into egg fields and kind of uh, went out on its own in some of these places. And then overnight, it backed down the north side of the slope here. Um, there's not a lot of great opportunities, especially at night, to engage the fire on this mid slope. So now um, the winds have kind of died down a lot. And there's predicted to be a bit of an onshore flow for a little while this afternoon, which could kind of help push the fire up towards Grimes Canyon Road. Um, and then we've got forecasts for the sundowners, kind of the east winds to pick back up um, after sunset. So here's another look at the fire. Um, the red area is the area that burned um, by 1030 this morning. White is where the fire was last night at 6 p.m. So you can see the fire back pretty aggressively down towards South Mountain Road. There are some fire established over here. Um, so between Satakoy and Santa Paula, down across the river, um, that was still kind of burning actively today. Um, but that fire is basically contained by the river bottom and what already burned. So when you look at how much bare soil is out here, um, a lot of this stuff, you know, wouldn't be the highest priority for um, firefighting if they've got other stuff that um, is harder to get to and has more potential. But down here with uh, river bottom and green fields, not a huge amount of threat, especially since this area here is already burned. So we didn't really see any growth on a lot of this flank of the fire down towards um, this golf course here, which I can't remember the name. These yellow here are uh, structures. So coming back over Santa Paula, the fire's back down here. And by 10 a.m. it was back down to the road, uh, South Mountain Road. 
And it seems like, uh, as far as I can tell, that the bulk of the action is kind of on this heel of the fire where the access isn't really good. So as we said, with the forecast for um, onshore winds coming out of the west, this could be somewhat active this afternoon. It's also getting, um, with the offshores, the wind, you know, the fire can burn into the wind when it's well ventilated, when it's blowing hard on it. It doesn't spread nearly as fast into the wind as away from it, but uh, the wind fanning on this fire will actually make it burn faster downhill than it would normally. So that's all we have right now for updated intel. Um, I'll show a couple weather forecast um, pages here, but this east end of the fire, so we're looking west here, out towards the coast, and this east end of the fire and the north side, that's what's gotten the most growth in the last um, 12 to 18 hours. And you can see that by the white line that there's been really little growth elsewhere on this part of the fire um, since yesterday. Find me the right page here. We were looking at the webcams earlier, and this is kind of from uh, this is looking down into that area that we were talking about, where the fire had crossed the um, the river. Down in here, so west of Santa Paula. See a little bit of the fire still burning down there. So this is right now. We're looking at the um, weather conditions here from Fillmore. Offshore wind of 10 to 15 miles an hour, 25 up on some of the higher ground. It's um, It's very dry. These uh, numbers, like anything under 20%, humidity is very dry. So with that east wind, we've got really dry conditions. But the um, air temperatures aren't, you know, it's not crazy hot. 70, 75 degrees. And then looking at, this is our kind of um, forecasted kind of Santa Ana conditions. And you see right now that... Um, these, the, the higher this number, this negative number, the more likely you've got strong or offshore winds. And the number, these don't really start to bump up till about midnight. So there'll be strong east winds again tonight. But um, as we can see from the mapping that most of the areas on the west side of the fire have already kind of burned what they can burn and are out, or not out, but um, haven't spread significantly. So. That's good news for kind of everything out to the west of the fire. And there's just another look at kind of that offshore flow. Kind of cool map. Anyway, if anything significant happens on this fire, we'll, we'll report again, um, but probably not until tomorrow morning. Thanks for your support. Um, Check out the other stuff we have here on the Lookout channel. We've got all kinds of stuff on here. Um, interviews with people, stuff on forestry, stuff on uh, thinking about deer and burns and how wildlife's affected by fire. Talking about prescribed fire um, being used for public safety here in uh, Chico where we live. We've got all kinds of stuff on the Lookout. So check out our channel, um, watch our videos, see what you see, uh, See what you can learn. If you like what we're doing, check out the Lookout website, uh, the lookout, d-lookout.org, and um, check out our sponsors and look around. We've got lots of, we've been doing this for a while. We've got a lot of good information about fires and how they work. Thanks, everyone. Catch you later.